In line with the Yoon administration's education reforms, the government met today with the ruling party at the National Assembly, where lawmakers urged the education ministry to thoroughly prepare for a new elementary after-school pilot program starting with the new semester. Our national correspondent uh, Han Sung-woo has the details. South Korea's ruling party has requested the nation's education officials to come up with a thorough plan to implement President Yoon Sung yeols vision of a more integrated educational environment for school children that's less burdensome on parents. The reforms being pushed include merging preschool daycare education with kindergarten and installing so-called dilbom after-school programs designed to keep elementary school kids under care and learning until 8 p.m. while their parents are still at work. The programs aimed at providing elementary school students with not only care but also high-quality after-school education. Should both reforms succeed, parents will be reassured that their parents are in good hands until they graduate. It's essentially the government taking on the responsibility of educating our youth. Right after discussions with the Ministry of Education at the National Assembly on Monday, the head of the policy committee of the People Power Party, Sung Il-jong, told reporters that the UN administration's also looking forward to the project raising the country's extremely low birth rate. We asked the ministry to direct the policy towards also resolving South Korea's low birth rates and the issue of careers interrupted by child care obligations. The education ministry is planning to launch a pilot version of the program at about 200 elementary schools in four regions this year before going nationwide by 2025. As part of it, a variety of after-school activities, including sports, music, art, and even artificial intelligence software taught by professionals, will be offered. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.